The cops came knocking, not on our door, theirs. And they were not happy about having the door knocked at midnight. But we weren't happy about having a floodlight to shine into our bedroom. I know we're good looking people, we're not, but you don't need to put a spotlight on us. I mean, she is, but eh, not me. My beard doesn't even connect. But I woke up the next morning to a very nasty text message that I wouldn't even reply to. Partly because I was being the bigger person and partly because she spoke in this broken English that just sounded like a pirate mixed with a stupid person. So it was ignored. But did they stop doing what they were doing? No, the next day they were back at it. What was their taste the next day? Oh, I don't know. Before I get into it, they mowed their lawn every day. Guys, I know this isn't illegal. I get it. They mowed their lawn every single day. Think of a day, any day of the week, any day of the year, they mowed their lawn. Winter, who cares? So they mowed their lawn every day. But not every day did his wife ride the lawnmower with him. Oh God, oh God, I forgot about that. Yeah, she was basically butt naked riding the lawnmower with him shirtless. Which, let's get it straight, when men mow the lawn, a lot of times they do it with the shirt off, get your tan on. But when your seven pound alien looking Skeletor wife rides behind you, it's a little disturbing. And they pretty much rode up and down the property line waiting for us to look at them like some weird, I don't even know. That. Sometimes the sickest torture is being forced to look at elderly people. Olderly? Shut up, we weren't forced, but either way. It's like a car crash. You got two elderly people riding a lawnmower up and down the property line almost naked. Disgusting. Like, why? We make the cops take down your floodlight and this is your defense? It just it doesn't end. But there was something petty that was like linked within all this. If you're just joining us, we moved in. Neighbor talked too much. Neighbor liked to drink too much. We put up a fence. Neighbor didn't like that. Their dog attacked ours. Our dogs didn't like that. Animal control was called. Our fence was cut. My tires were flattened. They're still drunk. Blocking the road? Didn't let us leave our house. Stalking from a lawn chair. We put up a fence. A taller one. They moved their chairs. We extended the tall fence. Now they're watching us from their second story window. We didn't like that. They play music and sing until midnight. 9.59 for being specific. Big argument. He's a professional softball player. Threatens to shoot us. Is cleaning his weapon on our property line the very next day. We didn't like that. Light shining in our security camera. Can't see anything. Cops called again. Did I mention the security system went off three times? No proof, but I know. Now they're basically naked on a lawnmower. You're caught up. So someone was living behind our house. Someone shot our house. And you know who stole our fence? The homeless people. <laughs> I'm sorry, the ditch people. Part 49. Zach, didn't you have conversations with your neighbors? Of course, most were with Denise because Denise was a sweetheart. But we did have passing conversation occasionally with our neighbors. One was when Bob came over to our house to expressively let us know that we had had our house shot. That's right, he thought we had our house shot. He took me outside and said, your house got shot with something. Mm, I think I would have heard that. Or God knows noticed it. I went out and he pointed at it. It was about eight feet up and it was some dirt on our siding. He thought it was a bullet hole. Oh, and in the same conversation, he told me that the people that stole our fencing, the homeless people that live in our ditch. Yet, yeah, not only was he deferring the blame from them doing it, which when the police asked, they completely said they had no clue. They were saying there was a homeless man who did it, who used it as bedding, who lives in the ditch behind our house. He's not homeless. His name is Ben and he's my brother. As I said in the last video, leave a happy 15 in the comments. So we called animal control because it was like 100 degrees outside one day and their dogs were chained to the tree still. Screw our relationship with our neighbors, we love dogs. And even though theirs were different, they're still dogs, living beings. No food, no water, and tied to an oak with a chain. Remember way back when we said they got a warning the first time? They didn't get a warning the second time. Cha-ching! And after that though, things got quiet. We even talked with Denise and let her know that, you know, for the past couple weeks, things really weren't happening. I got the occasional passive-aggressive nasty text from them, but nothing physically was happening. And that's when my wife and I got some incredible news. My wife walked into my office with the news. She was pregnant. Now the whole pregnancy story, that's a whole other story. And it was amazing, but we had to go back to the house where we knew we were living next to crazy people. We had to start having a serious conversation. Do we want to raise our child next to these people? And unfortunately, over the next few months, everything that they did was almost like we were used to it. When we walked in from the house, she'd be yelling. When we went into the backyard, they'd be looking at us. 
Heck, he would mow the lawn and purposely have the shavings go into our yard. He would literally double back to make sure the shavings were in our yard. But at this point, like, you've done your worst. I mean, what's left? So we really ignored them hard because we had to face the decision, are we even going to live here much longer? Yes, we could ignore it, but were we going to raise a child in this environment? So we made the decision that after, you know, four or five months of having our baby girl in this world, that we would start the moving process. And then November rolled along and our baby girl was born. Only took her like 48 hours, but what if your pregnancy was only a month and a half? I know what you're thinking. Didn't you just find out your baby girl was pregnant? I did. My baby girl was pregnant with another baby girl. We didn't know though that she was seven and a half months pregnant. Now I did this story a long time ago, but if you'd like me to do it again, put it in the comments. My wife was pregnant for seven and a half months and we had no clue. Funny story that is. But regardless, our baby Georgia was here. And if you follow my page, you've seen her plenty of times. In fact, one of my most viral videos was of her. But us having a little kid did not change things. They were still belligerent. They still yelled. They still sang until 9.59, almost on a nightly basis. Music blaring and all. What got me one time is we were having a bonfire outside and they called the fire department on us. A bonfire in a fire pit in non-fire risk times. Because there are times when the fire risk is high. And the fire department was called. And when they got there, they said they heard that there was a wild fire in our backyard. The only thing that's wild is them. The firefighters were literally laughing when they pulled up. But yeah, don't be alarmed. I know I skipped 51. So we went over to Denise's house and we introduced her to Georgia Ray. It was unfortunately during this meeting that we figured out that Denise had been diagnosed with cancer. This was really, really disheartening for us because yes, she was just our neighbor, but she was our sane side of all of this. She was so sweet throughout, whether it was helping them out or gift cards or flowers, we were always letting her know how much we appreciated her. So it was super sad to tell her that we were deciding that in the next few months we were gonna move. But we knew that that was the right choice. And Denise completely understood. And when I say she was a trooper through all of that, 100% was. But I know what you're thinking, is that the end of the neighbors, the crazy ones? Was that the last time you heard from them? Why was there a filter on the last shot? No. No, see, there, there is a decent ending to the story. A satisfying one. But it's in the next part.